fresh 14 on the clock for the drive. Ball back outside as Hollins uses the high screen. Back to Woodbury. Nice drive in on the pick and roll for two. Leading competition with the Red Claws. Here's Dabuya down low, finds Woodbury. As they go big, two big men in the game right now. Hollins up top inside Woodbury. Beautiful cut inside, great pass in for two. He hooked, but he kind of, he purposely hooked it right over to his teammate. Dabuya for three. How about the Rainmaker? Ties the game. Woodbury thought he was fouled on that, however, no call. Here's Page, stripped the other side. Now two on one, it's Hollins with King. Over to King, who lays it in for two. Now inside, great catch by King. What a pass, too. What a pass. Well, no, they failed to put it seven to seven, I believe. I think we are tied. Here's Hollins on a run out, and the first lead of the ball game for the drive as Dakari Allen drops in the I mentioned how his, his mobility is not there. He's a little yeah, slow. You're right. He's kind of laboring a little bit, and uh, I can see why there's a, such a, a minutes restriction. This fits right in with our vision for better people, better community, and better results. So we're really thankful to be able to be a part of this opportunity here. It was a no-brainer to partner the basketball and the steam fest. And then, you know, once we were presented with the opportunity, you know, with the great people over at Ambassador Enterprises, it was a no-brainer. The drive is getting some production inside, you know, Coach Gaines. On a misguided missile. Here's a high lead pass, oh. and what a dunk by Iverson. Brian Bowl. Right on cue. It's a three ball. That increases the lead to eight. And Hall on the basket hang. He has a total of seven. Here is Hollins in the fourth court. He's picked up by Walter Lemon. Hall sets a screen. Backdoor oh. cut to Withers. Can't fall for that, Alizé, the backdoor cut. Out. Hollins drops it. Here comes Hall again. Got the basket. With all the flair and the confidence in the world. Four points, the lead for Fort Wayne, 65-61. Oh. And Hall on a one-hander. Especially here in this third quarter. Woodbury sets the screen. Now they get it to Thurman for a long one, and he hits it. Thurman hits a big three. Much weaving, I thought, in that situation, Stephen Hicks should have looked for his three-point shot. And now great pass once again by Hollins into Iverson. That one misses off the Far side, picked up by uh, Dakari Allen, drive looking to run. Hollins, skip pass inside, Adam Woodbury with a finish. That's what Hollins will do, he'll dish you the rock. It's been Walt Lemon Jr. and Brian Bowen in the early going. Rifle pass down low, and inside is Khalil Iverson. He doesn't miss a layup as Hollins found him. So Grand Rapids with 13 on the shot clock, quick release, Withers for three, yes. Near side wing. By C.J. Wilcox. Well, like we always say, no lead is safe in the G League. Nifty move down low by Iverson with the hang time. On good hustle by Fort Wayne, 42-26. Turnaround flip, baseline counted by Woodbury. All of Fort Wayne's points in the second half. There's a big finish by Craig Sword. Two-handed flush left in the third. It's all Fort Wayne on this Wednesday night. We'll be right back on ESPN+. Plus. Bigby Williams, I should say, Allen trying to fight off the screen. Johnson lost the handle, intercepted. Hollins, two straight turnovers. Drive on the run, three on two break. Iverson finishes with a right hand finger roll. Might have been rejected a little bit by the drive. Grand Rapids on the run. Allen pulls up with a right elbow, kicks it in the corner as Hollins fed Bachman for three. Yes! 